hello guys welcome back to good tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix call of duty modern warfare 2 or warfare 2.0 is having gpu driver version does not meet requirement error for many of the users and how we can fix this up so i'm going to show you that so uh, first thing let's follow the instruction and the first step what you have to do is you just have to make sure that uh, your graphics is supported by i mean uh, by the game that you have to make sure that it is all good or else you'll be having the trouble so this is the very basic one so it's not so important most probably you'll be knowing that so next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually for that i'll be giving link in the description to for uh, both nvidia as well as for the amd so if you're on the nvidia because mine is uh, nvidia so i have to go over here now from this i have to select the product type i have to go for product series i have to go for product i have to select the operating system so mine is windows 11 so you have to do accordingly which one is yours so after that go for english go for download and roll those things go for start search now when you go for start search as you can see this is going to take a bit of time so as you can see these are the available patches right now so you have to download this particular one okay you have to download the latest one that is on november 16 2022 so just download this one and you have to wait for it okay click on this once again so here i have already installed this so i'll be showing you how to install so here i have already updated to the latest version so that's why i'm not having the error but for the md users if you ask me how to do this just go over here in this link then open this and click on graphics select your respective model now select the model go for it and go for submit when you go for submit you will be getting two options windows 11 64 bit windows 10 64 bit select windows 11 then download the respective one so here it is 546 mb just download it so after you must download adrenaline uh, amd software adrenaline edition download and install it so if you are on windows uh, windows 10 then you just have to like i said you have to download the respective one so let this complete in the meanwhile so i'll be showing you next step so this is the first step what you have to do you have to install the graphics card manually and also if you install the latest version if it's not working the next is you have to downgrade it for downgrading the graphics card you have to click on the task manager sorry click on the icon over here start icon then go to device manager now from here in the device manager you have to select display adapters select this one select nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design that is mine select this one go for properties and go for driver so right now as you can see here the rollback driver is grayed out for me because i have already done with that so for you you will be getting the option to uh, roll back driver so if you install the latest version and you're having the trouble or the updated version is already there in your pc or laptop just roll back the driver once you're done with the roll, rolling back the driver you just have to go to this link there is nvidia link and if you search you will be able to see that if you go to this particular link you will be able to see that there are many uh, you can select the uh, product type once again select everything and go for start search so when you go for start search you can see the updated patches like as you can see the driver version 526.98 the release date is november 16 so you should avoid the latest one and go for a little bit older one for example go for uh, november 10th update that is uh, 526.86 or you can try with uh, October 27th the patch outdated that is 526.47 which is on October 27th or you can even go for even lower you can go for October 18 or something so rolling back the driver is we are just uh, excluding from the latest update and we are going for a little bit older so you can download and install it just click on get download so once download you will be getting this option where you have to open this so when you open it will be asking you a few questions or if you don't know how to install it i'll be showing you that so first thing is you just have to click on the run and when you click run they'll be asking your location go for okay so now you just have to wait for it so after it is successfully done you just have to do the necessary steps and rolling out graphic drivers to previous uh, versions has helped many of the users as i have seen it in the reddit so that's why i'm requesting you guys you can roll it back to the older version or older versions if you're having the crashing issue and that is what you have to do moving to the next one let this complete uh, let this process in between so i'll go for the next step so next step is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so running the game on the dedicated graphics card is quite easy so i'll be showing you that so we are about to complete this so once it is successfully done we'll be getting an option further proceeding options and also i'll be showing you how to run the game on the dedicated graphics card also 
so let this be over here so i'll show the uh, what to do with rendering the game on dedicated graphics card so just click over here grow go for graphics settings so just select this one now from here if you go go over here as you can see these are the available game it is already added even it is already added here call of duty is already added so i'll remove this and i'll show you how to add so just click on browse now you should be knowing where the game is installed so here in my case it is on local dc i have to open this now i have to scroll down and navigate to program file s86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam so i have to go to steam okay so steam is here program file 86 select steam go for steam apps select common select call of duty hq now from here i have to select the dot exe that is cod so i have to add it so right now as you can see it is added so now i have to click on the options change this to let windows decide it to high performance and go for save once it is saved just close this and try to launch the game and most probably it will be working and also before that i wanted to finish one step which is all about how to install it just select this one go for agree and continue when this comes you have to select custom you should not be select anything so just go for next you should not be keeping this to express it should be changed to custom after that just go for next and most probably after that it will be installing so you have to do a restart and once it is successfully installed we can launch the game and most probably it will be completely fixed now we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to uh, update the game so for updating the game it is up to date so you can make a change or you can uh, check yourself you have to select the game right click and go for properties there is an option called update always click over here and make sure under this section or it should be always always keep this game updated so here we have three options always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority always keep this game updated you have to set to this so that the game will be updated in the background then launch the game Moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that uh, for that select the game right click go to properties click on local file click on verify integrity of game file so that it will be taking in between so it's going to take a little bit of time so what happens is if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so you have to try this and also the last and the least one which i would like to make you notice let this complete that is all about you have to use windows 11 installation assistant so i'll be providing for both windows 11 users as well as for windows 10 so if you're on windows 11 you just have to scroll down here and click on download now so that once it is done just open this so when you open this go for run so what happens is they will be asking this use this bill so here it is updated so there is no needed but in a case it will be not be the same so just uh, download this and install after that update the windows simultaneously for the windows 10 users you have to download this one or you'll be getting the update option just update it and these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you are having an issue with call of duty modern warfare 2 or 2.0 Dr gpu driver version does not meet requirement error and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye